Hi everybody, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me today. It is Thursday, August 17th, 2023. I want to give a shout out. Someone bought me uh, several cups of coffee. I could probably buy a whole can of coffee. Um, thank you very much. Yep, yeah, going to keep going with all my coffee. In fact, I got to fill up my cup again. God bless you. There was a magnitude 2.6 earthquake near Vincennes, Indiana. USGS said it was a 2.4, but EMSC said it was a 2.6. There's the report from EMSC and the report from USGS. It was shallow. 331 feet below sea level. All earthquakes are measured from sea level. 21 people said they felt it and USGS gave it an intensity level of 4, which means it was felt indoors by many people. Outdoors by a few at night, or if they're resting, they may have been woken up. Dishes, windows, doors were rattling. Automobiles would have rocked noticeably. As you know, any earthquake has a 20% chance of being a foreshock for something much larger. Just a couple days ago, there was a 2.1, and that was on the 15th. That's another interesting fact, but the fact is this is the area for a failed rift zone when the United States eons ago was going to separate, split apart. Some of you may have seen the uh, Navy maps where sometime in the future they're expecting, yeah, uh, the United States to actually separate. It's also part, um, yeah, I guess you could say it's part of the New Madrid fault system because the fault system is actually part of this failed rift. The population in this area has been dropping maybe because of uh, unemployment, the way the economy is going. There's only about 16,600 people living in the town of Vincennes. According to data, as of uh, 2021, only 58% of the population was working. So either they have a large retirement population or there's no jobs and that's why they got a drop in population. The average income is only $48,000 a year too. So if they had a large earthquake in this area, it would be, uh, yeah, really hard on people to rebuild, especially when the income is so low. I hope they're prepared for a large earthquake. Yeah. So first there was the 2.1 and then the 2.6 or 2.4, whichever you want to believe. We know USGS likes to downgrade earthquakes. It was right on the river. And as you know, fault lines often follow rivers. This is the uh, Wabash River. About two weeks ago at the Walmart parking lot, there was a family that was living in a converted bus from Indiana. They were at the uh, parking lot there in Walmart asking for money for diesel so they could uh, continue their trek going south where warmer weather would be for winter. They had three children and one baby. They were homeschooling their family and were anxious to get further south. Yeah, I think winter's coming early. Uh, the uh, black walnuts here are falling off the trees. Uh, geese are migrating already my cats for the last month have been shedding getting their winter coats yeah that's real early this morning it was in the low uh, 50s here where i live uh, when i got up it was only 58 degrees when my daughter showed up so i hope everyone's getting ready for the winter yeah getting that stuff that you need to do for uh, your gardens and weather eyes and things like that for your homes and automobiles so did you feel this earthquake? Are you prepared for something large? What do you think is the cause of these recent earthquakes? Yeah. Put your comments down below and thank you very much for that coffee. Oh boy, that's going to be good. Yeah, I got to fill up my cup again. Please stay safe and I will talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.